So if you clicked on this video, I'm going to assume that either you have just bought Deep Woken and want to know what you're in for, or you haven't yet bought Deep Woken and are trying to decide if the game is right for you. Well regardless, after 30 hours of playtime and pooling the opinions of multiple testers and players, here's everything you need to know before you buy. If you're gonna like it, if you're gonna hate it, this is the no bullshit review just objective pros and cons let's begin so let's start on a high note with the pros the first pro is that this game is unique there's a learning curve i will admit i came into this game wanting to hate it but i was immediately pleasantly surprised that it wasn't just the typical bandit beater now with a new game on roblox especially in the genre you would expect to spawn into the game find an NPC, then go kill 10 bandits or something like that. But with Deep Woken, I actually didn't know what to do and I had to explore. And it was that feeling of something unique, going into a new world, that I think made it very, very fun for me at first. Just, I was excited just to be playing something different. I hadn't even done the combat yet. I had not even adventured off the first island yet. I didn't even really know what to do because I didn't look at any sneak peeks. I didn't know anything about the game. I was just happy that it was something different. So I think that if you just straight up want something new, something unique, then you'll probably be very, very pleased with this game. Now that said, the second pro that I have to say is the adventure. This is actually an adventure game. I'm not talking, oh, you can go to different islands, therefore it's an adventure. No, I mean, this is actually exploring. There is so many hidden details around the map and there is a lot of unique events that can happen, which lead to moments like this. <laughs> yeah, it, it is actually really cool how stuff like that can happen. And of course, the game being permadeath really does add to that feeling of adventure. There's risk. When you enter a new territory, you could lose your life. So you have to be strategic in the way that you go about things. And I think that makes it very, very fun. And as well, I will say that I was really surprised by the amount of content in the game. I was expecting to be repeating some stuff, but everything that I've done up until this point with 30 hours of playtime has been a completely unique experience and that is something that I have not seen on Roblox for years. Now the next thing that you are going to like about the game is combat. This combat is actually unique. Now this is a very build based game. So every time you level up, you're able to get these cards and these cards can give you a magic ability. It's called mantra or you could just have slight boost, but either way, I think that's a really, really nice progression system and it allows for people to make their own builds. And I just think that the combat is actually really nice. So when you join the game, you're not going to be able to solo NPCs because you actually have to learn how to fight. And the PVP is nice as well, but I love the PVE. I love the amount of just NPCs and bosses and unique things that you can fight in the game. So everything feels like a new experience because where whenever you go somewhere you're not going to be fighting the same npcs they have different skills they drop different things and it's just amazing and you can use those drops to add to your build so they can give you armor they can give you different weapons and they can even go into your magic so i think that that is just a really nice way of doing progression and i really have not seen it before so Everyone's going to have a completely different build, and I think that's what makes it very, very fun. Now, the last thing, and for me, the most important pro is 
the immersion. This feels like an actual game. You don't feel like you're playing Roblox, you feel like you're playing just any old game. And that is because the amount of lore in the game, how everything kind of just gels together, everything fits the theme of the game from the UIs, the build, the NPCs, what you're doing. Everything feels like you are in the world of Deep Woken. And because of that, that is why it's so engaging. You see a new thing in the world and you feel like you are in the world. But probably the best thing about this is the community interaction. While you can play the game solo, you're kind of forced to play with other people or you're just going to have a really, really hard time. Now, some people may not like that, but I actually was really excited to hear that, that you actually will be able to adventure with your friends and even come across other people. Maybe they'll be friends, maybe they'll, they'll be foes. But regardless, I thought that it was nice that this was a very community-based game as well as incorporating those PvE elements. Elements. But not everything is sunshine and rainbows and here comes the cons. So the biggest con for most people I think is going to be the lag. And not just any lag, I'm talking incredible, inconsequential, inevitable horrible lag in the game and while the game does run smooth most of the time it's those patches where it will lag spike for like five minutes and it's almost always when you're fighting too and that is where it gets really risky in a permadeath game for it to lag like this yeah i don't really know it it does not gel well and i've seen multiple people die to lag i have died to lag multiple times and in some areas of the map the game is just straight up unplayable like you can't move you can't do anything it's just lagging so badly that all you can really do is alt f4 because th there's really nothing you can do and that said, the game is pretty well optimized. I can see that they tried to do render distance things and other stuff like that. Of course, I'm not a dev, so I don't really know what goes into that. And I can see that they tried to optimize it, but something is just not working. Like, I'm telling you, we'll be doing a boss fight, then out of nowhere, the game just starts jittering, just starts lagging. And then when the lag spike stops, two people are dead and they're wiped. So, it, yeah, it, that is going to be very, very frustrating frustrating and I hope they do something about that pretty soon. Now another big con and a very big one at that is the game breaking glitches. Yes, there are some horrible glitches in this game that will frustrate you, that will make you break a keyboard. Yeah, so the one that happened to me is actually if I use one of my ice moves, guess what? I'm actually stuck in place so I can no longer move and I think you can see where I'm going with this. I use a move for combat in the middle of combat and I'm stuck in place. Needless to say, I won't be alive for much longer. So yeah, that is really, really bad. And there are tons of glitches like this, but of course you would expect this from a new game, but still, I feel like these need to get ironed out really, really quickly, or people will just not play out of fear of dying to some game breaking glitch. Now, the next con for a lot of people is no information is given. There is really no tutorial. This is a small guy, but there's no tutorial about anything now of course some people might actually see that as a pro because they like games that really don't hold your hand at all but even dark souls the game that's regarded to be one of the hardest ever made even it gives you a tutorial even it gives you the tools to succeed i don't think that a hardcore game is made hardcore by just neglecting to explain anything and just saying i go out in the world and die because a lot of people they might not be checking the guides they might not even have friends with and if you don't have like any friends that play the game or you're not watching any YouTube guides you're kind of just screwed and you just have no idea what you're doing and a lot of this stuff is not stuff that you could just learn that you could just you know do so I think that that it, there should be some hints for some systems in the game for the people like that so that they can learn how to play. So not everyone has to go to YouTube and look up this hyper-release specific guide on what they're trying to do. 
and now another con is going to be the balance and by this i don't really mean the pvp moves i do a little because there definitely are some mantra moves that are just objectively completely useless i think that most people will agree with me on that but what I mean is that there kind of is a set meta in each class of armor and weapons that you're only going to use. Now by that I mean that in each kind of level bracket you would expect that people would be using all sorts of weapons and all sorts of armor. But there seems to be really only one set of armor per level bracket and one set of weapons that are actually good for people to use. So while there is a variety, there are just some that are straight up better and I guess that makes sense but it really just kind of takes away from the different builds that people are going to use when there is just an objectively better version of another armor and I think that them being so many armors in the game is just completely negated because by level 40 50 60 everyone's wearing the same stuff and using the same weapons so i think that maybe that should have been looked into a bit more before release now i know 400 robux can be a big investment for a game so i'll leave you guys with this I came into the game with the intention of disliking it. I had been battle hardened by the failure upon failure and just disappointment upon disappointment of the new games releasing on Roblox. And even with me trying to hate the game from step one, I must admit, I was having fun. And the game is pretty good and it does remind me of the good old days on roblox 2015 2016 those good days so if you guys are just looking for something unique to play this is probably the game for you but if you're not about permadeath you're not about that type of thing and you're just looking for something more simple that you don't have to invest so much time to enjoy this probably is not the game for you but either way i hope this video helped and if it did you watched this far, so you might as well subscribe. It's clear you like the content on the channel. So that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. I can persevere, go forward on my own. There's a bright and shining